Welcome to a new episode of my GNU slash Linux and USB tutorials. Today I want to show you how to write a USB out endpoint type bulk with libusb in a simple C program. So let's go. So here I have my Atmega 32U for microcontroller and I want to turn this into a USB to GPIO expander. And I've already implemented an endpoint or a new endpoint here. This endpoint one out from the type bulk transfer with eight bytes with eight with the size of eight bytes. And over these eight bytes I can set the LED states. So here we can see um, here is the index of the bytes. So we have eight bytes, and for every byte, bit zero means if it's set to one, we want to change the output value according to bit one. And in bit one, we can write the new value for this in here. Okay, and with this information, we can start and implement a simple C program to control the LED. So let me navigate into my USB tutorials folder, and here I have a folder for user space applications. I want to write this in C. And now let me add um, here we already have a file where we have tested control transfers. And I will copy this file and create a new one. I will call bulk out transfer.c. And let me open up this file. Bulk. Yeah. So what we're doing here is here we are in we do a init for the libusb library. Here we are opening a device with um, vendor ID 3eb and product ID 1. And the rest just um, explains the control transfer, so I will delete them. Okay. So I will need some more variables here. And I will include um, string.h. And I will need a buffer from the size 8 bit. And I will need a new variable I will call transferred. And yeah. Okay, and what I will do now is I want to toggle um, the yeah, one LED 10 times. So we'll also need an I variable here. So I will start a for loop counting up to. 20 here and first I will do I will use memset to set everything in this buffer to zero yeah and buffer zero I will set to one so one means change the state of the LED and yeah and here let's set status equal to. Now let's do the transfer. Therefore, I will need the function libusb bulk transfer. I have to specify the device to which I want to do this bulk transfer. I have to specify the number of the endpoint and the seventh bit here is the direction as the seventh bit is zero here. It's an out. It's an out endpoint I want to access. Then I have to specify the buffer I want to write and the length of the buffer I want to write. Then I have to pass a pointer to my transferred variable. And in this value, we can find how many um, bytes were transferred successfully. And the last argument is a timeout value in milliseconds and I will set it to 100 milliseconds. And then I will print out the status and bytes transferred and here I will pass in the status variable on success this should be zero and here in transferred we have the number of bytes which has been transferred okay but the problem here is now it will only um, it will own the LED will be always off okay, but to change this I will use the XOR function here and so on every run, the second bit of buffer zero will be toggled. And so if in the one iteration, it will be turned on, the second will be turned off. And let's add a small sleep here. So let's sleep 200, 
50 milliseconds per run. Okay, so this is the program. Let's try to compile it. And I have to specify I want to use the libusb 1.0 here. Okay, the compilation works, so let me try to run the program. I have to give it my password. And now I can see the LED is blinking 10 times. Yeah. And we have the status was always zero, so the all control uh, all bot transfers were successfully, and the transferred bytes were always eight. Okay, cool. So that's how to use libusb 1.0 in a simple C program to write to USB bulk out endpoints. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee on buymycoffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.